Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to make these dingy whites whiter than ever. At least that is the hope here. I have tried baking soda and vinegar and lemon and OxyClean and those things work to some extent, but you all, not on these. Not on these. These are disgusting, like gross. Here's one pile. We're doing two experiments here today. Here's a second pile. I mean, look at that sock right there. I put one sock in each pile so that we can have a good comparison. Here's the other sock. Look at that. We're going in with the mother load of all mother load and then we are adding a boost to this pile right here and see what actually works better. I have about one gallon of cold water right here. I'm going to add a fourth a cup of bleach, just your regular old good old Clorox bleach. We're gonna dump this in here. I feel like I should add more bleach just because that's my nature, but I'm gonna follow the recommendations here. We're gonna add this pile of laundry in here. We're gonna let it soak five to 10 minutes. The thing with bleach, they say you're not supposed to soak it longer than that because it can damage the material and fabric, which I absolutely agree with. But depending upon the type of fabric, sometimes you do need to soak it a little bit longer and you do need to add a little bit more bleach. But I just wanna caution you on that one. And it smells delicious. So I'm gonna time this, set this for 10 minutes and then we'll come back. That's been soaking for 10 minutes. I timed it on my phone here. Let's just, just take a peek what we're working with. Okay, I mean it's still, still looking dingy, but we're not done yet. This is experiment part one. So I'm gonna wring these out here. I had done a recent video about putting aspirin in your washing machine. So I will uh, link that down below and doing an aspirin soak to see if it actually worked. And I had washed those clothes with colored items and a lot of you had said, well, don't wash it with colored items even though you were doing it on warm water. Here's the deal. You can kind of get a good gauge on what it's going to look like when you're going to pull it out of this. Um, sometimes there's a drastic change, but in my experience, it's generally more subtle, especially if you're washing things that are colored that have been washed repeatedly. So just going to wring this out. I got one more item here. Then what we're going to do, by the way, I love the spell of bleach. That's just my preference. And again, I've tried the vinegar and baking soda and they're okay. I actually have a whole video coming out about that, but these are atrocious. So I'm gonna wash these. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill this bleach lineup. If you've never used this, this is fun. I'm gonna fill it all the way up. There we go. That's probably about a fourth a cup of what I put in there. Fourth a cup to a half a cup. If we wanna get really technical, I should probably have measured it, but we're just, we're gonna, gonna keep it as consistent as we can. I got some Tide Sport here. Filling this up. We're gonna see how white we're gonna get these. I'm gonna wash it on the hottest temperature. I'm gonna do a heavy soil level and I'm just gonna do a normal wash. So let's go ahead and do that. Then we're gonna do round two. And we're back. I took the clothes out. Let me just show you. I haven't dried them yet, but they, I'm not impressed. Can I just say that? I mean, this is a little bit whiter. The big difference here is in the sock. Look at that. I mean, that is looking a lot better. So what I've done here, I just got more cold water, fourth a cup of Clorox bleach. I'm going to let this soak for 10 minutes. Then we're going to go ahead and wash it with the tide like we did in the first trial and about a fourth a cup to a half a cup of bleach is what I ended up putting in here. But this time we're gonna add a half a cup of this combination. You may be asking yourself, Andrea Jean, what is this combination? We're gonna supercharge it here. I am adding about a fourth a cup of baking soda. That's what was in here. And can you guess? About a fourth a cup of this Borax. Multi-purpose household cleaner helps remove stains and neutralizes odors. I don't think the borax in the bleach would do enough, and I don't think just the baking soda in the bleach would do enough, so I'm combining both of them. Now, borax and baking soda, people think they are very similar, and to some extent they are, in terms of when it comes to cleaning household items, but their chemical compounds are very different. I have a whole video on cleaning grout with this, and you all, it worked really well. Again, we're gonna do the hot water. We're gonna compare both piles of laundry 10 minutes, wash everything up, put everything in, and then we'll see. Okay. 
and the moment of truth. Here is our pile where I just did the pre-soak with the bleach and the bleach wash. And here is where I also did the pre-soak with the bleach, but I added the borax and the baking soda. And truth of the matter is, they're all much whiter than when I started. Are they ever gonna look like brand new white like I had purchased them? No, probably not. I let them go way too long. Sometimes things are not able to be revived. You put way, way, way too much time into them and you probably would be better off just buying a new set of things. I know that is wasteful, but it just got too far to gone long. Now, do I think there's a difference between this pile with the bleach only or the added borax and baking soda? Not really. Looking at the socks, not so much, no. So in my opinion, I would just go straight bleach for those really, really hard to treat dingy whites, baking soda, vinegar, lemon juice, citric acid, all the other home remedies, in my opinion, when they get this bad, do not work very well. The yellow hue is gone from these items, but they're still not their greatest vibrant white self. Another option, OxyClean, this works in my opinion, pretty much the same as bleach. Now with OxyClean, you can soak it for up to six hours each item. So I am I am happy with this. And in fact, I did try to clean these items with the baking soda and the vinegar and the lemon juice, and they still looked dingy. So this is the best bet in my opinion. I know many people do not like the bleach, but it works. And oftentimes, less is more. And it just goes to show that it's important to keep up and have a routine when it comes to keeping your whites white for longer. All right, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. I keep it real with you all over here. Also, hit me up on Instagram at Andrew Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits, and this cleaning channel is one way that I do that. Mm -hmm.